right, here we are coming back at you. A couple of movie fanatics. What I thought we'd do today is talk about something that actually isn't a movie so much as how away movies are viewed, which is the current kind of trend slash fad slash whatever, money maker, extra money maker, which is 3D. Now there's been a you know there's been a little bit of digital project projection, a little bit of digital 3D in, in small ways like kind of I kind of missed it like back when they did like Nightmare Before Christmas conversion and all this kind of stuff. Well, they did it on more of a kind of a, a limited engagement, Toy Story one and two kind of, but it wasn't really until December of 2009 when uh, James Cameron, you know, flooded the, the theaters, the digital 3D theaters with the, his movie Avatar that. The whole kind of world, in a way, was really introduced to 3D in a way that James Cameron hoped that uh, you know would, would really, really continue. And what um, what I find interesting, which I didn't even expect at all, is if you cut to uh, what one and a half years later, the majority of the 3D movies in the theaters are like not shot 3D, but converted post-production 3D. Yep. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about that? I. I have mixed feelings about 3D. My problem with 3D lies with, if it's not made for 3D, don't present it in 3D. There are very few movies that you can convert where it'll look fine. Uh, the, and I will address one at the end of this. But, um, like, Clash of the Titans, what was the purpose of that being in 3D? It did nothing for the movie that that was in 3D. I mean, the movie itself was fine, and I, I enjoyed watching it. But the 3D, actually, I found uh, I found myself being detracted from the movie rather than being like roped in. I wasn't absorbed into the world. Um, but like, Avatar is the ele elephant in the room. Like, you have to address that. That was fantastic 3D, great usage. But it was designed for 3D, and that's the, the thing. I think Robert Zemeckis also did a really, really good job with um, Beowulf in 2007. Uh, that was great use of 3D. 3D. Uh, really helped that movie in ways that the movie itself, like, is, is fine, but it, it, without the 3D, uh, it, it's not as good as it, it is on DVD. Um, you think the 3D enhances the, I the movie it, experience to, it, it, for, for you? For Beowulf, yeah. Oh, but you see, I can't comment on that. For Beowulf, it definitely did. For Avatar, I thought it did. Uh, I mean, Avatar, I've watched it at home, and it's... It's fine. I mean, I, I like Avatar. I'm not one of the party that hates it. Um, but uh, I think the 3D with, uh, pres presentation of that world uh, was fantastic. And um, I think if you design something for 3D, you can make it work. It's, it's like uh, you can basically like uh, the 2D animation. A lot of those movies uh, sort of fell by the wayside a couple of years back, uh, and Disney started converting their 2D, their 2D animation thing into 3D with, like, uh, Meet the Robinsons and stuff, and, like, I honestly think Meet the Robinsons might have been better without the, the, the um, 3D animation rather than the typical 2D animation, and this is the same way, like, if you design a movie uh, to be in 3D, then it's going to look good because that's the way you set out to make it. If you design a movie in 2D, it's not going to, uh, and then convert it to 3D, it's not probably not going to matter. Um, my Soul to Take, uh, Wes Craven's movie, that was that, that that was kind of foolish to make in 3D, and uh, the filmmaker himself has complained about the fact that it was converted into 3D. Um, at one point, uh, Joss Whedon. Was, uh, he had a movie, uh, still has yet to come out, called uh, Cabin in the Woods. And uh, the studio decided to convert it into 3D. He was very much opposed to the idea because the movie wasn't shot for 3D. That's important in that Joss Whedon is now making The Avengers. And he planned for that to be in 3D, and he says that he wouldn't well, want the audience to see it any other way because he designed it to be seen in 3D. Um, so there's an example of a filmmaker who uh, is embracing it when it's needed to be embraced and rejecting it when it shouldn't be there. Yeah, I, I completely didn't see the conversion kind of, the, conver the conversion thing even coming. You know, I was like, you know, and all of a sudden a movie like Avatar that's shot in 3D and meant to be 3D is something that's 
on a higher 3D tier than like the, the 3D imitators. Well, oh well, you know, we got this movie that's ready to come out. Well, we got a couple months to convert it. Why don't we do that so we can maybe make more money off it? And it's just, it's you know, Cameron's probably just because Cameron's a big, huge 3D person. He's probably just like, guys, guys, guys. You know, this isn't how. Yeah, you know, think which I think is about. which I think is ironic, seeing as how he's converting Titanic. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I think Titanic might work. How? But how can he say? Yeah. You know, he's against conversions if he's converting it. I mean, maybe he's against bad conversions, whereas his conversion is good. I don't know. I mean, it's all just, you know, whatever at the end of the day anyway. But there I just, are 2D movies that I think could benefit from getting the 3D upgrade. And, uh, like, Titanic, I don't necessarily think, like, would be one of them right off the bat. But, like... There is something to say for movies getting turned uh, from 2D to 3D if it would work. And I think George Lucas is doing it with the Star Wars movies, and I think that's a good idea. You watch all six of those movies, like, the, he shot them as if they were 3D before, like, the current 3D technology existed. And, like, the opening shot of, of A New Hope, like, that's going to be beautiful in 3D. Like, that's just going to be freaking amazing. Um, the pod race scene in episode one is going to be great in 3D. The Anakin Obi Wan fight in uh, Revenge of the Sith that'll be really cool in 3D because you have the uh, sense of distance. The uh, and he, he created such immersive worlds in all of those movies. Uh, I think also the Empire Strikes Back. The scene that I think is going to be really really well paid off is the um, the space slug scene when they're uh, oh, the Millennium yeah. Falcons racing on the cave that's collapsed. Well, when it's going through the asteroids, I mean, yeah, no. that, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, all that stuff, that's going to be really, really well done if, 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 if it they is do well, it well done. If it is well done. <laughs> uh, but supposedly they're using the Avatar technology, so.